Good morning. This video, I want to talk about who a dependent is according to the situation. So, if you're filing documents and you want to define your dependent, dependent, sorry, then first of all, they define it as the age and marital status of your children are important factors in the immigration process. For immigration purposes, a child is an unmarried person, unmarried person under the age of 21 years and a son or a daughter is a person who is married or is 21 years of age or older there are two classifications there's a classification of son daughter and then this classification of child what determines this seems to be being 21 years old and being married well who is considered to be a child? So a child is, for immigration purposes, a child can be any of the following. A genetic child born in wedlock, that is a child when you born with your husband and wife, if you, born, if you had, a, had a child together, that is your child. Or a child born out of wedlock. Now, if the child is born out of wedlock, there are about three things that have to happen. If the mother is the one who is filling the documentation, then there is need to prove that she is the legitimate mother. If the father is the one filling documentation, then the father has to fill in the documentation in accordance with the laws of the father or the child's place of residence. So the laws of your country determines how the father should be uh, considered to be the legitimate person who is the legitimate father. Now, if the father is petitioning and the relationship is not legitimate under applicable laws, a bona fide parent-child relationship must be shown to have existed prior to the child's 21st birthday and while the child was unmarried. So you can't just take a child and take... You can't just take a child and... Uh, talk about this is my child you must show that before the child was 21 there was some legitimate thought then a child born through assisted reproductive technology to a non-genetic gestational mother who is recognized under the laws of the relevant jurisdiction as a child's legal parent at the time of the child's birth that's considered a child and finally there's one more thing I think you can see it from here. Let me just improve my writing. And it's called a stepchild. A stepchild, as long as the marriage, where is it? A stepchild, as long as the marriage creating the step relationship occurred before the child turned in. That's very important. So that is how you define a child. Now there's one more definition that is very crucial that we need to talk about. And this is an adopted child. How does the US talk about adopted children? Now an adopted child is an adopted child if the child was adopted before the age of 16. First of all, you must have adopted before the age of 16 or before their 18th birthday. If certain circumstances prescribed in the adoption based family petition process or adoption based form i-130 process page apply and it's not or it's and the adoptive parent has satisfied two-year legal custody and joint resident requirement just that means that you have you must have stayed with that child for two years and and uh but each must be met, that is the legal custody or, and joint residence do not have to be during the same period, but each must be met for a cumulative two-year period. So, I know that many of the African traditional ways of doing things is we just take someone's child and stay with them. And then we say, oh, this one I have adopted. If it is so with you, I'm sorry, that is not an adopted child. It must go through the law. It must be legal. 
and the law must say that you have adapted that child. That's the only way that you'll be saying that this child is adapted. If it's if it's just talking about adoption, there's no paperwork, that child is not considered as adapted. So I hope this gives you a slight idea of how adoption works and what a child is the US system, immigration system. Bye-bye.